Hello everyone, this is Juan Sarmiento and today is Friday, April the 21st. 25th, I guess, 21st. <laughs> okay, so I'm showing you here the SPY in a chart that is a weekly chart. I still, you can see here clearly my trend analysis, that is my channels, and you have a down, longer term downtrend channel which was broken in the last couple of weeks. Uh, that doesn't mean that the market will go up from here. It may mean simply that it's a temporary uh, up and um, up line. And then we have this other channel, which is an uptrend channel. And that is telling us that this line would have to be broken for it, the market to continue on the way down. So for the time being, we are uh, in a good position. Let me just, what we can do with this is um, edit the properties and I'm going to say um, extend to the right so we can go to limitless direction of our channel. Okay, so this channel can be broken but for the time being we have a support. We are in a support uh, point. You can see that the the Ichimoku cloud here is red, which means bearish, and we are right in it. And um, at some point uh, this week, the market was above that, but it's come down since. Um, so we are in a position now where the there is a little bit of a resistance. We are going to have to pull back a little before we can do back up again. And let's go back let's go turn this to the daily chart so that we have a better uh, understanding of what is going on here okay so in the daily chart you can see that clearly you can see those lines there are still the the lines that i have used in 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 the up in the weekly chart okay it's, it's the same the same trend uptrend and downtrend you can see that the market is above the downtrend channel which is good we would have to restructure that channel meaning that this will become the high end of the channel or we can find support here and essentially restructure it and uh, perhaps the market is going up from here but i would like to see a break above the these lines that i have drawn that signify the previous short-term highs and so the market needs to find support and rally above it. This is all very interesting, but that's just to tell you uh, that technical analysis is something interesting as part of being a trader, but you don't have to be. You can simply trade, uh, just simply do what I've been doing, which is accumulate shares of the SPY indefinitely, okay? And that doesn't require anything, you simply are, it's the equivalent to buying a mutual fund. And interestingly, most mutual funds underperform the SPY, so you would be in safe hands uh, compared to other, uh, other um, mutual funds. And you don't pay much in commissions, all right? You just simply buy one share a week, and that's great. Now, keep in mind that if you want to trade the stock market, you can be in with something like buying shares. But if you want to take advantage of options by selling covered calls, I suggest you keep um, you take a look at my new series on the covered call. I am putting below in the comments below two links to my two most recent um, videos, which are the number one and two episodes in this series, cover calls, that I suggest you take a look and begin to understand a little bit about options. I'm being very generic, a very, um, pre um, very um, novice style of um, class, so to speak, in those videos. So you can take a look at it and learn from uh, my experience a little bit. Okay, now uh, you can see here in general, I would say that you can, the Ichimoku cloud is below in the daily chart, which means we are bullish right now. And this market could come down to uh, somewhere in my downtrend 
line and bounce from there. You can see that the stochastics is pointing down. Okay, so we have gone as high as we're gonna go, which is very parallel to the previous high. And you would sort of expect that, that the market simply doesn't go crossing this um, resistance line very easily. And so we would expect a, a little decline here and then a rally, potentially, okay? So for that, the market has to continue down for a little and the stochastic should come down to the bottom here and then rally up again, okay? So for the night, for the time being, we should um, hold on because we're gonna have a rough ride in the next, uh, I would say a couple of weeks, okay? But that's okay uh, because Keep an eye on this line here because we might be crossing it and the market be bullish. This is all my way of introducing you to this kind of um, information uh, which I have accumulated over the years about uh, in the analysis, the technical analysis in something about uh, options trading and introducing you to all these things and then you decide what you want to do but if you want to keep it simple and outside the the realm of options keep on doing what i'm doing here okay so right now the market is trading at four the spy at 411 dollars and 50 cents you remember that my average cost is a little above it so let's go to the trade tab um let's say analyze tab rather and you can see that I have 98 shares that I have accumulated. That means I have been doing this, this um, series already for 98 weeks. It's hard to believe. Okay, so, and you can see that my average price is $419.20. Well, that means we have a loser, but the losing is only $773. And I have the feeling that very soon, uh, we are going to be in the plus column and then from there on who knows okay so what I'm going to do is as usual buy a new share and that will put me into 99 shares let's deselect this or open the lock and you and lock it again and you see that I have $411.31 that's how much it's going to cost keep an eye on the price here the average price because it's going to come down a few cents that's dollar cost averaging means every time we buy a share that is and the price is below my average it should shrink and we don't care because we are long-term investors and this account I'm not going to touch until 10 years, 20 years, 30 years from now, depending on when you expect to retire. But it's a way as a, as a novice for you to get into the market without much complication. Okay, so let's do that. And you can see that I do have enough capital. I've been putting every week $500 this week. I don't need to put anything because I have sufficient capital there for my next trade. So let's do that. Uh, create duplicate and just send it. Confirm and send and it will go. And then um, let me just keep an eye on the average price for 19.2068. And let's send that. Okay, I say 14, 419.2068. So it's been gone down a few cents. Not much, but okay. Now we are in, uh, we have 99 shares. Once we have 100 shares, you can conceivably do a cover call. I'm not going to do that. This is not what this is about. But if you are interested in the cover call in a very basic point, from a very basic point of view, check the links on the comment section below. Thank you very much. That's all for today. Thank you very much. Bye bye.